Hey everybody, Vinny here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are doing a whole chicken on the Pit Boss Grill. Right here on this pan, I've got a five pound chicken. Dirt cheap, it was like 47 cents a pound at my local store. Phenomenal. So we're gonna smoke it for a couple hours and then finish cooking it, but we gotta season it. And what I'm gonna be using to season it today is uh, this injectable. I think it was like four or five bucks at the grocery store. Uh, it's the roasted garlic and herb. And then we're gonna rub the meat down with Blackstone chicken and herb seasoning. I like this stuff, it's really tasty. So the cool thing about this injectable marinade, I wish they were paying me, is it actually comes with the injector. Just take the needle out, screw it down there, give it a good shake. Let's fill the big old stabby stabby with some marinade. Alright, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go into all the meaty parts. Like right there in the, you know. Now some say go through the same hole and then just uh, inject at different angles. Which is perfectly fine. You see some stuff come out. No big deal. But again, you're going for all the meatiest parts of the bird. So you got these big old legs here. Going at an angle. And you'll see the meat puff up. I'm trying to get into the thighs a little bit. Take it around. Now you don't have to go crazy with it. But the more the merrier because it's going to incorporate so much flavor into the meat. A lot of the big barbecue guys you see on TV, they love doing their injectors and so do I. You probably hear my <laughs> amazing wife on Mother's Day outside. She wants to put some mulch out and all that, which is funny. It's like I'm in here prepping stuff for grilling and she wants to go do some gardening. Plump this bad boy up. All right, and that should do it. Okay, now, and all we have to do to finish this off, I'm gonna take my ring off, is just douse it with this seasoning. Just coat it. The more, the better, because this is gonna sweat real good and you're going to rub it in. Okay, so just... Get on the wings, on the thighs, germaphobes beware. I know some of you people don't like touching chicken, you can wear gloves obviously. Make sure it's in all the cracks, nooks and crannies. Let me rinse my hand off real quick. Just take another light dusting on top just to make sure it's nice and coated still. There we go. Remember, it's the uh, Blackstone Chicken and Herb Seasoning. Okay, now what we're going to do is take a temperature probe. If you don't have a probe and you have a meat thermometer, you can use that. I go in like this just because it goes into the thickest part of the uh, breast. And that's that. So let's go toss this on the smoker and get it going. Okay, let's put this on the grill. Now, I have my pit boss set to smoke mode. So you have to smoke this for a few hours. Plug it in down here. It's saying the internal temperature is at 51 degrees. That's fine. The grill's in smoke mode. We're gonna let this smoke for a couple of hours and then we're gonna wrap it in foil and bring it up to 180 degrees. So we'll be back. My goofy self forgot to mention, I'm using in the pellet hopper uh, Pit Boss brand competition blend pellets. So it's a mix of different uh, woods. Some people pr prefer hickory, mesquite, applewood. This is just a blend of different ones. 
Uh, I like it. And compared to the Traeger pellets, 40 pounds for 20 bucks compared to 20 pounds for 20 bucks, I'll go with Pit Boss. Okay, so the bird has been smoking for a couple hours. Now we need to wrap it in foil so it'll, uh, Finish cooking the tongs right there. Take a little thing out. Just like that. I'm just gonna wrap it. stick out a little bit. Back down the smoker. We're going to turn the heat up. 350. And we're going to get to an internal temperature of 180 degrees. And the chicken will be done. So, we'll let this uh, finish cooking. And get to it. Still cooking along. There's the chicken. I got some acorn squash and some asparagus. Dinner tonight is going to be phenomenal. It's tickling the temperature. Needed to get up to 180. The only reason the actual temperature dropped is because I opened the lid. Okay, so we hit 180. I'm gonna shut this thing down. Get the chicken off the grill. I'm gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. And let's carve it up. Okay, got it fresh out of the foil. It, nice and delicious looking. And it's time to rest. Some people like to just butcher the whole thing, but I like to carve it like a turkey. Just take a little piece off here so you can see what it looks like if I could stop it from spinning so much. Nice and cooked all the way through. You can even see the little bit of the smoke ring right there. You can see the juice is just pouring out of this thing. Super tender. And delicious easy to use didn't have to do a spice blend myself which is nice and you know again phenomenal so thanks for watching please like subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video so does it meet kitty approval no yes. no I said yes. 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 Uh, yes okay good deal thanks for watching guys See you next time.